If you're a student or a professional looking to transition into the field of cybersecurity, I am sure you have heard the term cybersecurity fundamentals. And you might have asked yourself, <laughs> what are the fundamentals or what should I focus on and try to learn? Well, in no particular order, let's talk about it. Starting with the first one, networking basics. You want to be in a position to understand how data flows and how devices communicate with each other. Why might an open port on a particular device be a higher risk compared to another device? You want to grasp an understanding of TCP IP, OSI, subnetting, and common networking protocols such as DNS, DHCP, HTTP, SSH, and many others. Learn what these do and why they are important. Any course that you take when it comes to networking, free or paid, should hit on these topics. The second one is operating systems. You must know what you want to protect and how to protect them. In other words, reduce the risk of compromise. When it comes to an organization, they are mainly using Microsoft Windows as their daily driver. So understanding how Windows works, especially within a domain environment, would be extremely beneficial. This does not mean you need to fully understand the inner workings of how the particular operating system functions, although that would be extremely beneficial, but you do need to understand the concepts, such as the permissions, registries, and logging. This is the same for Linux and Mac OS. The third one is cryptography. I'll admit, this topic did take me a while to understand, but trust me, it was worth it. Think about the importance of cryptography and what are the benefits of it when it comes to security. How might someone use cryptography for confidentiality and or integrity? Topics such as encryption, hashing, and digital signatures is what you should focus on. Number four, security policies and procedures. This is where the frameworks of cybersecurity will come in. If you have not heard of NIST or CIS, then I would encourage you to look into it. NIST and CIS are quite similar when it comes to cybersecurity hardening, as they will provide you with a checklist full of security controls that you can apply to improve your security posture, especially for those organizations that are just starting out. You want to be aware of these frameworks and understand the importance of compliance with regulations and industry standards. Number five is authentication and authorization. What are the differences between the two? What are some of the different authentication methods and access controls? Learning various ways on how to authenticate should provide you with a better understanding of ways to protect what is considered most valuable, which is your identity. Authorization should teach you the concept of permissions and why it is extremely crucial to be aware of privilege creep. Number six, firewalls and IDS slash IPS. You wanna be aware of what security solutions exist when it comes to both detecting and protecting your network. Learn the differences between an IDS, Intrusion Detection System, and IPS, Intrusion Prevention System. And why might a company would prefer an IDS rather than an IPS? As for firewalls, understand the underlying purpose of these and how they work. What are access control lists and what is a layer seven or application firewall? Why are they better than a traditional firewall? Number seven, vulnerability assessment and management. Businesses are all about reducing the risk of a likelihood of a successful compromise. How does one do that? Well, vulnerability assessment is one of the key focus areas that will identify weaknesses in organization. Learn why and how might an organization conduct a vulnerability assessment and understand what are the benefits of doing so. Number eight, incident response and handling. The last one that I'll mention is incident response and handling. You want to be familiar with the incident response life cycle. This can be from NIST or SANS, but essentially it is there to guide you so you can have a clear understanding of which phase you might be in during an incident. It will also help guide you from start to finish. Learn the importance of a well-defined and updated incident response plan for an organization. There are many other topics that I'm sure I've missed, 
But getting a grasp of these topics that I introduced will allow you to understand why cybersecurity is needed in every organization. And hopefully, after learning all of this, it would also make sense to you that the journey into cybersecurity should not be rushed and you should really take your time. That is it for the video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.